Today on Stock Charts in Focus, we're pulling back the curtains on some of the latest stock charts technology. You guys are getting an exclusive look at some of the things that we are working on. And we're building off of last week's episode where we touched on all those new features that have just rolled out around the site with our latest product release. And of course, as part of that, we've also launched new technology previews for some of the major features that we're gonna be bringing out later this year. So we are gonna give you an opportunity to see those. We're gonna walk through them, talk through them, and of course, show you how to play around with these yourself. Plus, we're gonna to touch on the summer sale that's coming to Stock Charts next week, give you the details of one of the biggest sales we've ever done around the site. So lots to cover, of course you know what it is, it's all new, it's all here, it's Stock Charts in Focus. All right, my friends, welcome to the show, Stock Charts in Focus, our product focus show here on the channel where we dig into the site, dive into those tools, walk you through those features, and ultimately help you get more value out of Stock Charts. That's our mission here every Friday up on the channel, digging in to what's going on around Stock Charts. My name is Grayson Rose, a Vice President of Operations here at StockCharts.com. Wonderful, as always, to be back with you guys for another episode now, there is a ton going on around stock charts. I kind of have to pinch myself some of the amazing things that are happening. We got the markets ripping to the upside on top of it, but we've got site wide product releases coming out. We got new technology previews. We're putting some of those new features that we are working on in your hands, giving you kind of early access, almost an early beta release to some of these things. And that's what we're going to explore on the show today. We're going to show you around some of these new technology previews that we've just launched. And most importantly, show you guys how you can access them yourself. So we've put these out there on the site. You actually get to uh, to go and play around with some of these demos, see some of the things that we're working on, and uh, really get a sense of kind of the next generation of stock charts, some of the things that we are building, new trading tools, new visualizations, new analysis resources that are gonna help you make sense of the markets, chart your way forward, and make better investing decisions. So we are gonna dig into all of that on the site today. Now, as I mentioned in the open, we're really building off a of kind of last week's episode where we walked through the latest product release, our site-wide product release, that summer release, just rolled out last week. Huge, huge new features. We've got more options data, we've got new earnings visualizations on the symbol summary page, intraday Forex charting, we've got custom messages for your alerts, and a ton of things just launched in ACP as well. We got seven new indicators over there, new annotation tools, even have the sector summary built right into the drawer at the bottom of ACP. So some amazing new tools just launched on the site uh, in the last two weeks. And we touched on those, like I said, last episode, last Friday's show. If you haven't had a chance to see that episode, if you didn't get a chance to see what was going on there, definitely go back through this show up here on our YouTube channel and uh, go check that out. There's a lot of uh, exciting things that we uh, that we touched on there. You'll get a sense of uh, you know what's what's launched, what we uh, what we just added to the site. We'll show you how to review the release notes and all of that. We are going to touch on that very very briefly on this show today. Want to make sure you guys have access to that. But today we're going to really focus in on those technology previews. We touched on them very, very briefly at the end of last week's show. So today we're going to give those some focus. We're going to dive into those technology previews. Very exciting stuff. Now the other thing is that next week we're going to be launching our summer sale. So on top of all of the things that we've just launched, all these new tools and new features, new enhancements, and these technology previews, we're actually launching a summer sale next week. You're going to be able to save, believe it or not, up to 30% off of stock charts. We got a huge sale coming your way. So I do want to give you guys an early heads up that that is coming. Mark your calendars. Right around July 5th is when we're going to launch that sale. It's coming out very soon. We're excited to give you guys an opportunity to save on your stock chart subscription. Uh, we love to give you uh, give you an opportunity to get a great deal on that stock chart subscription. Uh, give you a great deal on these tools and features that we are building and putting out there for you. So that's going to be coming next week. Mark your calendars. 
the summer sale on its way to you. Of course, we'll have more info for you on next week's show. We'll also have more info in our Chart Watchers newsletter. We put that out every Saturday, actually sent by me. So if you want to hear from me every Saturday, you want you know more one-on-one -on -one time between us. You want me in your inbox every Saturday. Go down to the bottom of pretty much any page around stock charts. You can sign up for that Chart Watchers newsletter. On top of you know site news and, uh, and announcements, important things that are happening around stock charts, it's actually going to bring you uh, commentary right to your inbox from folks like David Keller, John Murphy, Mark Pring, all those contributors that you know and love from stock charts, from our articles, and from our YouTube channel here. Uh, we've got direct commentary sent right to you in that Chart Watchers newsletter. So it's a great way to get content, also a great way to, uh, to stay up on what's happening around stock charts. Stay up on the markets and stay up on stock charts. What's better? Sign up for that Chart Watchers newsletter, bottom of any page. You can also go to stockcharts.com slash newsletter to find that. So with some of those announcements out of the way, I say we jump over to the site and get it going. We'll show you briefly how to jump over to those release notes and see what just launched, but then we'll jump over to those technology previews. We're going to run you through those three new feature demos that we have just launched. Here we go. So up on the Stock Charts website, we are on our Charts and Tools page. You can get here by hitting that Charts and Tools link top left corner of any page around the site. I always like to mention this. It's a great directory of everything that is there, whether you are a paid member or a free user using our free tools. This is a great place to go to, uh, to navigate around the site. We have actually updated this page just a little bit, kind of reorganized things. We've got our primary three tools up at the top and then more below there. Now, right now, we do have these big red banners up across the site. So if you are watching this right when we uh, when we launch it, you might be able to actually click that button right up at the top of the screen to jump over to those release notes for all those products and, uh, and features and tools and enhancements, all that stuff that just launched around Stock Charts. You can hit that big red button. But on the off chance that this is uh, a little bit later and you're, uh, you're watching this when those red banners are no longer up on the site, on this page, you can scroll down kind of towards the bottom or visit stockcharts.com slash new. You can visit our what's new page. When you give that a click, you'll see that we have this big card right up here for that spring, summer, kind of late spring, early summer uh, product release that we just brought out. So you can explore all of these new features. This is what we spent last week's episode doing, going through all these different features that have just launched. We talked about each one, gave you kind of a sense of uh, you know what's there, what you can uh, can use, and how it's going to enhance your trading and your investing using stock charts. There is a ton here. This really was one of our biggest product releases ever. So you can scroll back through this on your own and go see those new tools and features. Up at the top of that page, though, we've got this blue box, and that's what I want to call your attention to. This is how you're going to access our technology previews. We've actually built a whole separate page to kind of explain what those are, give you a sense of, uh, of what we're doing with those demos, and of course, give you access to those interactive previews. So you can look for that blue box on this page, on those release notes, uh, and, uh, and access those technology previews. The other great thing, though, is that if you are a Stock Charts member, you can jump over to your dashboard. And you can, by the way, access that What's New page from right in here under the Member Tools section. Scroll all the way to the bottom of this panel, and you'll see that there is a What's New link down there as well. So you can give that a click to jump over to that What's New panel from the uh, What's New page from the dashboard. But we've put the links to those technology previews right in this Member Tools panel for you. If you do want to shut them off at any point, you can just uncheck that box. But you'll see these green links for those technology previews right here on the dashboard. So if you actually want to start using some of these features in your own process, in your own workflow going through the markets, they are real data. They are real tools. They are still very much works in progress. They are meant to be a demo of kind of what we're uh, going to bring out later this year officially. But I'm actually having a lot of fun using these tools in my own process, really starting to kind of get a sense of how they're going to work for me, some of the enhancements, some of the new things that you're going to be able to do. So you can access any of those individual technology previews using those links. But right up at the top, we also have kind of a, a README. That's that page that I mentioned before. So when we jump into this, this is that kind of sneak peek preview page. You can also get here by going to stockcharts.com slash preview. But this is actually going to explain what these different technology previews are. Again, the idea here is that we want to give you guys an inside look into what we are building, what we are working on. Some of those features that take you know more than just a couple of weeks or a couple of months even to build, 
These are some of the big features that we've been working on for well over a year, actually, kind of behind the scenes. And rather than keep everything to ourselves and just kind of put it out there when it's done, we want to get this stuff into your hands. We want to hear from you. We want your impact, your, your input, your feedback, your thoughts. We want to know what you think about these tools, what's working, what's not working, what you still want, what you'd love to see out of stock charts. Our work is driven by you guys, and so we want to give you guys an opportunity to actually give us feedback. Now, at the top of each of these demos, there's going to be a blue or sorry, a, a green banner going across the top with a link to that feedback form. But from this page, you can also hit this little link, jump over to our feedback page and actually send us your thoughts. We've built this feedback page so that it's really, really easy to give us thoughts on uh, on all these new demos and, uh, and things that we are rolling out. So on the show today, we're going to blast through these three technology previews, show you what they are, talk about kind of what they're meant to uh, to demonstrate for you, what's coming out later this year. And most importantly, this is giving you an opportunity to see how easy it is to get over to these things. So if you're a Stock Charts member, you can actually jump over to this page and go play around with these tools yourself. So we've launched three primary technology previews. First up is a totally new Sharp Charts workbench. When we say Sharp Charts workbench, what we mean is sort of the interface that surrounds those traditional charts. Sharp Charts, one of our uh, you know core tools, core uh, charting features that most of you are probably using, and it's been a little while since the uh, sort of the wrapper around those charts, the buttons, the menus, all of that kind of thing. It's been a while since that got an update. So we are doing a wholesale, huge, very, very big and important workbench update. This is uh, probably the biggest feature. This is the one that I personally am most excited about, and that's the one that we're going to spend most of our time with today. There's a ton there, and most importantly, a lot more coming very, very soon. The key with these technology previews is that they're actually evolving kind of as we go. They're not static. We're not putting this out and then saying something will change, you know, six months from now. We're going to keep evolving these uh, every couple of weeks. So you'll see new changes, new updates, new enhancements rolling out for these technology previews as we continue to build them. Because again, we're kind of pulling back the curtains on what we are doing behind the scenes here at Stock Charts. So we'll see that, uh, that workbench preview in just a second. The other thing that's going on for Sharp Charts at the same time is that we're actually building an entirely new kind of charting engine behind the scenes. So the code, the, uh, the technology, everything that powers those Sharp Charts is getting a major, major update, major refresh. That, most importantly, is going to bring amazing new capabilities to Sharp Charts. More control over the scale of your charts, more control over the positioning of different indicators. You're going to be able to put, uh, for instance, fundamental metrics right behind the price bars on their own scale and kind of stack things. So you can create amazing, powerful visualizations, not only for technicals, but also bringing in fundamental metrics as well. So if you wanted to chart, for instance, you know, earnings per share values over time or PE ratios over time, right behind the price bars, you wanted to stack those on top of each other, do amazing things like that, uh, that is gonna be possible with Sharp Charts 3. On top of that, we're gonna be bringing out new indicators. We got a whole bunch of new indicators that we're gonna be introducing for Sharp Charts and just a lot of kind of updates and, uh, and more features, more interactive features as well for Sharp Charts 3.0. So there's a lot coming there. Now we've put out a, a sort of funny little demo here for Sharp Charts 3. That one is uh, is a little further down the road, so you're going to see that as well. We do have some uh, some interactive charts that you can play around with. Again, just to get a sense of kind of some of those capabilities that are going to be coming to Sharp Charts 3.0. And finally, another one that I'm very excited about is this Market Carpets tool. So the Market Carpets tool allows you to see a whole bunch of securities on one screen, so we're sort of with the uh, with the same criteria, whether it's price metrics or scooter uh, scooter values, RSI values, different things like that over different times periods. It's kind of a heat map tool, if you will. You've probably seen this on other platforms as well. It's been a while since our market carpet tool got a refresh. And so we are doing a huge, very powerful, very thorough, uh, much more kind of modern uh, version of that market carpets tool. We'll take a look at that in just a minute as well. But we are going to start with that Sharp Charts workbench because it is the big daddy of the group. So remember, you can get over this page and you can start to explore these technology previews yourself. So here's the new version of our Sharp Charts Workbench. And again, this is going to continue to evolve, continue to grow, uh, and it's going to be coming out sort of more officially 
later this year as we continue to add more features to it. Once it's kind of ready uh, for prime time, we'll release it more as an official beta. Right now, it's kind of an early beta, if you will, if you're familiar with that term. There is a ton to love here though, and a lot of very powerful features that I'm excited to share with you. Most importantly, it's just kind of gotten a new look and feel, a refresh. It's a lot easier to use, uh, a lot easier to kind of navigate around your charts. And as you can see, we're adding a ton of new features to the workbench as well. So it's not just gonna be charts. You're gonna be able to bring in additional data, uh, additional resources like symbol summary and seasonality and options data right into the charting page. Very, very cool stuff coming to Sharp Charts. So first and foremost, we've slimmed up the top of the page. We actually have everything kind of on one row now. All of the primary settings that you're gonna to wanna to access when you first set up a chart. This is kind of similar to ACP if you've seen what we did there, kind of putting some of those major criteria for the charts uh, right across the top. So you can enter any symbol that you want. You can select your period using this menu right up at the top. Just select your period, select your chart type next. You've got a ton of different options in here, just like the existing Sharp Charts workbench. And then you can select your range. Now we've got a whole bunch of predefined ranges, or you can select a specific start and end date using this menu down at the bottom if you've got a specific date range that you wanna chart. Or up at the top, you can customize your range. So my charts actually, I like to use a custom range of one year and six months. So this is a setting that I like to use. Uh, this is one that's, uh, that's important for me. So you've got your range settings up there. And then one of the really, really cool things, we still have the uh, the entire settings menu, You know all of those different options you have for fully customizing your charts down at the bottom with indicators and overlays and things like that. But for some of those quick chart settings, things like the chart size, the color scheme, whether you want volume on or off, uh, what kind of scale you want, what kind of candles you want, those types of settings, we've actually put those in a quick menu, nice and handy, right up at the top of the platform. So if you did, for instance, wanna turn off dividend adjustments, you can do that simply by unchecking this box right up at the top. Uh, if you wanted to turn on the full quote or turn it off, you can do that simply by checking this box right up at the top of the screen. And the other really cool thing is that Sharp Charts is getting much, much faster. This new workbench is much more modern, much more powerful behind the scenes. And so you, as you can see, when I change some of these settings, I don't actually have to wait for the entire page to update. I don't have to go hit an update button or wait for things to, uh, to refresh. Everything kind of happens instantly for me with these different menus. So if I change a chart size or I change a setting like that, let's say I wanted to add the zoom thumbnail, you can see that that just happens really, really quickly for me uh, right behind the scenes. Everything is kind of automated for you. Now, if you do wanna get down to your indicators, we've got a quick scroll button down here or uh, up at the top that takes you right down to that section of the workbench. So nice and easy to access all of those settings. And again, we'll dig into some of those, uh, those lower areas uh, down at the bottom of the screen. We also have, of course, one of my favorite features of Sharp Charts, the inspector or the crosshairs, depending on uh, sort of what name you like. So that's gonna turn on that horizontal and vertical kind of crosshair tool. Also allows you to measure uh, vertically in either direction, measure indicators or measure horizontally if you wanna do bar counts, things like that. So you've got that simply as a checkbox right up at the top. One of the big questions that we've been getting about this new Sharp Charts workbench is, hey, where did the auto refresh checkbox go? So we are gonna be bringing that back because there's been a little bit of confusion, but actually Sharp Charts is updating for you automatically behind the scenes. Auto, -refresh is, auto refresh is turned on automatically. So there's no more need to actually refresh the page yourself or go fiddle with an auto refresh setting. Uh, if you are on a chart, it's gonna keep auto refreshing kind of in the background for you. So very, very cool thing that we are working on uh, I'm excited to uh, to get rid of that auto refresh checkbox. Actually, that's been something that uh, that people have been asking us about as they've been playing around with this. Uh, finishing up kind of the top row, if you do want to save any of your charts or save a chart style, we've got this nice handy menu right up at the top that tells you kind of what those things are and what you can do. So you can select either action right from here. If you want to save a chart, uh, you can just click on that save chart button. Or if you wanna take all those settings that you've created, kind of package those up and save them as a chart template, you can save that chart style right here. Finally, we've got a couple of uh, sort of cool settings right here in this workbench preferences area, and this is gonna to continue to grow over time. But you actually have the option to either left align or center align your charts. 
This is something that's very new, something that people have asked us about on the existing Sharp Charts page for a long time. So if you do kind of like that traditional look, a little more similar to the, uh, the current workbench, we can left align those charts, but you actually get to choose. If you want them centered on the page, you can stick those charts right in the center of the page. So that kind of finishes off that top row. Now, something else that I'm very, very excited about on this workbench is what I'm kind of calling the, uh, the breadcrumb menus right up at the top. This allows you to navigate through your saved chart lists and saved charts. And there's a key feature that's actually gonna be coming very soon. We're gonna have a save uh, button right up here. So it's gonna be easier to, uh, to save these charts when you're working on things that you've actually saved your account. And the cool thing is that that button's actually gonna sort of follow along with you, similar to what we just launched in ACP. So when you're looking at a saved chart, it'll say saved. And when you change anything about that chart, this button that's gonna appear right here uh, will actually say not saved. So it'll indicate that you have unsaved changes and you're gonna to wanna to make those, uh, you know, hit that save button to, uh, to save those and keep them around for the future. So some, uh, some very, very cool things, like I said, coming to, uh, to Sharp Charts very soon. But as it stands right now, this feature I am absolutely loving. So it allows you to take any of your chart lists from your account and then select any of the saved charts within that. So we can select a, uh, a chart right from that list. This kind of tells you, okay, you're in this list and you're looking at this saved chart. From there, you can go about your charting, do anything you want with this. And when you wanna move on to the next chart in that list, all you have to do is arrow over to it with these arrows. So you can see how quick and easy it is to flip through saved charts in a list. I'm loving this feature. It is, uh, it is very fast. And again, because this whole workbench isn't kind of refreshing behind the scenes, it's incredibly quick and easy to flip through these saved charts. If you do want to resave anything or delete anything, of course, you've got actions in here as well. So you can uh, edit uh, those saved chart details. You can delete anything from these lists and you can do the same with your chart list. You can edit chart lists or you can jump over uh, to view those in chart list view or to view them in summary view if you wanna jump outside uh, of the Sharp Charts workbench. So loving those breadcrumb menus. And again, they're gonna to continue to evolve a little bit more over time. Now, the other crucial feature for us as, uh, as Sharp Charts users on Stock Charts is our chart styles. Of course, the templates that we, uh, that we create for ourselves, all those chart settings and everything that we wanna use again in the future. Those are what we call chart styles. You can kind of equate chart style and chart template, and they're basically the same thing. You have access to all of your chart styles, all your saved chart templates, right over here on the left side of the platform. And we've actually taken one of my personal favorite features of the existing Sharp Charts page uh, and made it even easier to use, even more obvious uh, and, uh, and useful for you with these style buttons. So these little buttons over here on the left, these are called style buttons. You can actually set these up on the existing Sharp Charts workbench as well, but these give you quick access to different chart styles that are kind of your favorites. You save those different uh, combinations of settings and everything, save those as chart styles, and you can pick a handful of them as style buttons that, uh, that show up over here on the left. So for instance, if we wanted to jump down to an intraday chart, I like to look at a five day intraday chart with things like uh, uh, volume weighted average price uh, on, that, uh, on that intraday action. You can see how quick and easy it is to jump through some of these different chart styles. Now we're looking at a long-term weekly. We can jump to a uh, more complex chart with a couple more indicators down at the bottom. So I've set up all of my favorite chart templates, my favorite chart styles as style buttons over here on the left. The really nice thing is that it also shows you how many you have left. So if you've only set up one style button, you'll still see all of these, but it'll show you that this is an empty style button that you can actually save another style to. Of course, you wanna access other styles from your account, other chart templates. So you actually have a handy little menu right up here at the top. This blue button is actually a chart styles menu, shows you all of the chart styles that you've saved into your account. The one that you have starred is gonna be your default. So when you first load the workbench or when you save a, uh, a chart from somewhere else on the website, save scan results, things like that, your default is gonna be the one that has a star next to it. If you wanna change that, all you have to do is click one of these stars. This is uh, similar to some of the things that we've done in ACP, kind of making some of this navigation a little bit easier. And of course, just like we did with save lists and save charts, if you wanna edit or delete anything, you can look for those pencil and trash can icons as well. So you can access any of your save chart styles from this menu right here, and your favorite ones can be set up as style buttons. 
We've got some other uh, sort of amazing customizations that are going to be coming to Style Button, some very, very cool enhancements that will make it easier to set these things up. That's going to be coming very soon, but you'll be able to actually uh, hit that little gear icon down at the bottom to set up your chart styles and your style buttons. Lots coming there. The final thing to mention before we get down into the uh, the lower section of the workbench is this little black dot. We've had a lot of questions about what this is. This is a new kind of interactive feature of Sharp Charts that allows you to manipulate your chart sizes on the fly. So when I click and drag on this black block black box, you'll see that my chart size actually changes, making Sharp Charts kind of a little bit more interactive. I can customize these charts to fit exactly what on the uh, the screen that I am currently looking at. So if I wanted to make these really small for a smaller screen, I can just use that little black dot to manipulate those chart sizes on the fly. Uh, this allows you to make your sharp charts full width, full screen, uh, gives you a lot more room to work with. Or of course, if you do like some of those default sizes, you can come in here to this chart size menu and select some of those standard sizes that we have. So if you wanted to get back to something like 1280, you can quickly do that as well. So a very cool little interactive feature that we are working on there, resizing your sharp charts kind of automatically uh, on the fly. Now, we've got a couple of menus below this. We've got our annotate menu, uh, which will launch the annotations just like the, uh, the current workbench. And then we've got a couple of helpful menus over on the right. So this is where you can access some of those share features. Those are gonna be coming soon. More tools. Uh, you will be able to create alerts directly from the workbench. You've got uh, some of those other key tools like symbol summary and jumping over to ACP if you wanna do that or uh, any of those other tools. And if you've got any questions, you want to contact our team, you want to open up the documentation, any of those kinds of things, you've also got this new help menu that we just added uh, over here under that orange button. So a couple of interactive menus that you've got right there uh, gives you quick access to some, some of those features. I'm really excited about the create alert feature. This is a very exciting one that is coming soon. We're going to be rolling that out, but you're going to be able to create price alerts directly from the workbench. So let's get into the bottom part. We're gonna fly through this a little bit because we do have two other technology previews to, uh, to tell you about. Uh, of course, similar to the current workbench, we've left the, uh, the sort of layout and some of the, uh, the workflow of this chart settings area. We've actually kind of left that consistent with the current workbench. Now, the thinking there is that we wanna give you guys a uh, sort of a new experience, move things forward, give you this faster workbench, some of these new features for Sharp Charts but we don't want to take too far of a step forward uh, and make things, you know, create a platform that you have to totally learn from scratch. So if you're an existing Sharp Charts user, this should actually feel pretty familiar to you. You've got the same set of menus. You can fill out your parameters boxes, select your style settings, your color settings, your opacity settings, all of those kinds of things. One thing that we have gotten rid of is the advanced settings kind of pop out. Now, some of you might not even be aware of that, but on the existing Sharp Charts workbench, there's a little green arrow that allows you to sort of pop out uh, advanced settings. We've said, you know what? Everyone should have access to those without having to worry about opening and closing a menu. So we've actually just left everything visible on this page for now. So this is gonna work very, very similar to the existing Sharp Charts workbench. Again, you can use these arrows to move things up and down, but one really, really cool thing is that if you did want to uh, reposition any of your indicators or your overlays, you can actually click and drag to move these up or down. So for instance, if I wanted to drag this up a little bit, you can see that that's gonna reposition uh, on that chart. Uh, now, in this case, I'm moving a horizontal line above a moving average, which doesn't really do anything. Uh, but if you did have you know, a, a whole bunch of indicators on a chart and you actually wanted to, uh, to sort of reposition them without having to use those arrow buttons to move things up and down, you can actually use this icon over on the left to click and drag exactly where you want things to go. Very, very nice. And again, we do have an update button down here at the bottom, just so that uh, if you are looking for one, if you're looking at all these settings and you're saying, wait, okay, did things change? How do I get back to my chart? You can hit that update button. All that's gonna actually do behind the scenes is scroll you right back up to the chart. Like we mentioned, any of the changes that you make to these settings are actually applied for you instantly behind the scenes. So when you're down here, if you don't wanna hit that update button, you don't wanna go searching for it, you actually don't have to, uh, have to do that. For instance, if you wanted to change the color scheme, let's do something crazy like sea green, you'll see that that actually changed for me right up at the top. It's very, very fast, very, very quick. Uh, you don't actually have to go and find that update button. So one nice thing uh, that you should know about.
Now, the next thing that we have under the settings area is something new called our chart style library. So we've taken the concept of our uh, sample chart gallery that we actually launched a little while ago, and we've brought that right in here. We've also given you access to all of your chart styles. So just like this menu that we looked up, uh, looked at up at the top of the page, this is uh, a list of all of the chart styles in my account that I have saved. And if you know this list well, you can access exactly what you want. Chances are though, sometimes you're gonna be hunting for a chart, you know what it looks like, but you forget what you named it. So if you come down to the chart style library, this will actually give you sort of a visual implementation of all of your chart styles. You can click on any of these to quickly load it up top. So for instance, if I wanted to get to, let's say this 45 day intraday chart, I can hit that and that's gonna load that chart style right up at the top. These are all of the chart styles that I have saved into my own account. You can actually customize this a little bit, make those thumbnails even bigger and make them even smaller if you kind of want a, a really, really tiny view. By default, they're gonna kind of sit in the middle. Or if you want a list view, if you kind of like that list format, you can actually jump over to the, uh, the list view, click on any of these, and that'll load a little preview with the name for that chart style. Once you're ready to actually select it, you just hit that green button and it'll load up top. The other thing that we've built in here is a whole giant, very, very cool collection of sample chart styles that you don't actually have to worry about going and creating yourself. So again, this is where I mentioned that sample chart gallery that we brought out a couple of months ago. We've taken all of those sample charts and actually built them right into the workbench. So if you wanted a moving average ribbon chart, you don't have to worry about creating this chart. Just come over to the chart style library, select that popular chart styles group, and all of these are charts that you can start using without creating them yourself. Now, if you did wanna save any of these, if you wanted to take this moving average ribbon, save that as a chart style to your own account, you come up to the top right, you hit save chart style, and you'll actually be able to add this as your own chart style. Start to, uh, to modify it, add your own spin on it. Anything that you wanna do, you can save that as your own chart style. So we've got a whole bunch of these different groups. Again, uh, the keep, kind of keeping in line with that uh, sample chart library that we added a few months ago. We've got different strategy specific charts, trend analysis, volume analysis, things like that. We've also got the popular experts group that we've had, and this actually has even more folks on it, including me, hello. Uh, we've got Dave Keller and Martin Pring. We've got uh, Aaron Swenlin, Greg Schnell, Gaddis Rose, Tom Boley, a whole bunch of contributors right on this page under that experts category. And these are gonna continue to grow over time. We're gonna continue to add more and more charts. Some cool things that I love to see in here, the market analysis group, there's some fantastic charts in here. If you want sort of a classic intermarket view, here's a very, very useful intermarket chart, especially if you're looking at something like SPY, this will actually give you an amazing uh, intermarket chart uh, with all of those different kind of major markets on one screen and some relative ratios. We've got some different uh, specific market indexes in here. We've got Dave Keller's market trend model. There's some very, very cool things uh, down in this chart style a library. So something to go and play around with. We've done a similar thing for your chart lists. So with this view, kind of similar to those breadcrumbs up top, you can actually select any of the chart lists from your account and you can jump into any of those lists. You can view them once again as a grid or as a list and you can preview any of those charts. This will also include any of your notes that you've saved to that chart uh, right below the preview. So I personally, for my chart list, I'm really enjoying this, uh, this list version for this chart, chart style library up top, I'm enjoying the uh, the grid version. Both kind of have their place. But again, if you wanted to load any of these charts, you can click right on it to load that in. Now the rest of this, with one exception, is kind of still coming soon. What we are gonna be bringing out to the Sharp Charts Workbench is a whole list of other very, very cool features to complement your charts. So we're gonna actually have a summary table for any of your chart lists. Just like the summary view that you might be used to for those chart lists, you're gonna have access to price performance data, fundamental metrics, volume, earnings dates, all of that in kind of a table format right down here. It'll also allow you to actually click on, your, uh, on those different symbols that you've saved and quickly see those charts. So summary view is coming right to the workbench. I am thrilled about that one. I've seen the previews of it. It is phenomenal. I'm really, really loving that feature. You're also, of course, gonna be able to add chart comments. Uh, and then we're gonna start building in additional resources. So things like symbol summary and seasonality charts are actually gonna sit 
right below your sharp chart. So you'll have access to a whole collection of tools right from this page. As a preview of kind of what that's going to feel like, we've actually added in our new options tool that we've just enhanced for this latest product release. We've taken that options tool and we've added it right in here to the workbench. So this gives you a sense of how that's going to feel. You're going to have your charts right up at the top. Nah, let's get back over to something that makes a little more sense. You're going to have your charts right up at the top, and then you're actually going to be able to, uh, to jump down into options for that specific symbol. So if I was charting, let's say Microsoft, I can type in that symbol and this options view down at the bottom is actually gonna kind of follow along with me. So again, we're gonna do similar things for symbol summary and seasonality, historical price data, and this is really only the beginning. We've got other tools that we're gonna be bringing out here as well. Lots and lots of very exciting stuff coming to this workbench. And once again, it's a technology preview that you actually get to play with. We're putting it in your hands. You get to take this, run with it, have fun with it, see what we're building, and most importantly, give us feedback, give us thoughts, give us input. So again, with that uh, green banner right up at the top of the page, you can actually share your feedback with us. So let's get back to our preview page. And we're gonna take a look at those other two technology previews that we have access to now. That was our Sharp Charts workbench. As I mentioned, we're also working behind the scenes on a new Sharp Charts engine. So this is our Sharp Charts 3.0, as we're calling it, uh, sort of charting engine demo. Now this uh, sort of the tools, the features, the interface around this, the menus, all of that, that is not really indicative of kind of what we're doing with Sharp Charts 3. These new charts eventually are gonna be added to that new workbench that we were just looking at. So you'll have basically some of this uh, charting capabilities, but within that kind of new wrapper uh, that we just toured you through. Again, what this page is intended to do is just give you a sense of some of the things that we are building with Sharp Charts 3, some of the charting capabilities uh, that are going to be coming out, including things like these little mini charts that actually are powered by Sharp Charts 3. So we'll have sort of more data in these tables. We'll be able to do nice little uh, graphics, mini chart graphics to kind of summarize a whole collection of symbols. And within things like the summary table, you'll actually get those little uh, spark chart, spark line, I think that's what, they, uh, what they're called, uh, but you'll get those little intro day charts uh, for any of the symbols in a list. Most importantly, though, is what's in the center of the screen. So right up at the top, you actually get to click through a couple of different sample charts that we've put together. Now, the funny thing about these sample charts is that uh, from a sort of functional trading and investing perspective, they might not be the most useful, but what they are intended to do, again, is give you a sense of the capabilities that are coming to Sharp Charts with these new updates. So things like these rainbow bands, different colored bands at different levels, uh, that rainbow band, very, very cool, something that we can't do with Sharp Charts currently, but we'll be able to do with the next charting engine. Here you've got sort of volume bars behind a moving average. Uh, you can see some, uh, some very, very exciting things there. We've got more flexibility for stacking indicators and seeing things uh, all at once. This one I'm actually very excited about. This is what I was kind of touching on at the beginning of the show. You're gonna be able to take the, uh, the primary price panel, but then put additional data sets behind it more easily. And you'll have more control over the scaling of all of these different things. So more control over the chart scaling, but also when you put different metrics in here, like dividends or other fundamental metrics, let's say earnings per share values or PE ratios, different things like that. Again, you'll be able to actually position these things kind of together on one panel. So here you can actually see the price relative line uh, on that chart with kind of its own scale. And then you can also see that dividends line on its own scale down below. So some very, very cool things that we are gonna be working on. Uh, again, more coloring, better sort of control over you know coloring above this range and coloring below this range. So you can see those kinds of things, uh, coloring, shading between moving averages or, uh, or other indicators and the price bars. Things like that are going to be coming very soon. One that I love is actually this view. So seeing again where price is relative to a moving average and having those kind of colored bands, colored ranges above and below. Very, very cool. I'm excited about some of the things like that. And you're going to be able to do that on different indicators as well. So here's actually a relative strength line, a price relative line between IBM and S&P, uh, the S&P 500. And you can see we put a moving average on that and then we're actually coloring between those bands. So a lot is coming to Sharp Charts 3. And what we're doing again with this technology preview is just giving you a sense of kind of some of these charting capabilities that we will have. 
uh, here on that one that we were just looking at was volume by price bars uh, on the right side of the screen, volume by price on the left side of the screen. We have got a ton of things coming to Sharp Charts 3. I just can't wait. And in addition to all of the improved interface that we're bringing out with that new workbench, the power is just really going to keep growing. So lots more to show you in the future as we continue to work on that project. But for now, you can actually play around with our Sharp Charts 3 demo. Let's jump back over to the workbench and we are going to pull up our market carpets page. So again, uh, on that technology preview page down at the very bottom, uh, the, uh, the third technology preview that we have is our market carpets. You can also access that right from that dashboard if you do want to start using this in your own process. This again is going to continue to evolve, continue to grow. We've got changes that we're going to keep making, uh, but it's a very cool tool right now. I've actually already started using this in my own analysis and I'm having a ton of fun with it. So we've redesigned that market carpet kind of heat map tool to be much more interactive, much newer, much sharper, and it brings you some uh, some powerful new features that I'm excited to share with you here today. So of course you can select your group up at the top. We've actually put all the controls for the market carpet, instead of having them kind of behind a right click menu or something like that with the current tool, we've actually put these in their own menu. So it's very, very easy to set this up exactly the way that you wanna see it. You can select your group and then select your specific measurement. If you want price measurements, you've got those up at the top, or if you're looking for specific technical indicators like RSI, if you wanted to see RSI values for an entire list of symbols, you can do that right here as well. You select your range for it. If you're looking at a technical value like RSI or scooter, you can actually uh, measure everything just by the latest value. If you're looking at price performance history, you can select different periods. So for instance, over the last five days, what are the big gainers? What are the big decliners? What are the winners? What are the losers? You can see all of that uh, right here on the, uh, the kind of interactive heat map. And then of course you do have some sizing options. So if you actually wanna size these equally, you can choose that. If you wanna size them by price even, we've got that in here. That really flips the script. Uh, or you can size everything by market cap. We've got lots of very, very fun color schemes. These are actually a lot of fun to play with, just kind of picturing things in a different way. And when you select a color scheme up at the top, of course, you've got that scale down in the bottom right corner. So that'll tell you what represents down, what represents up, things like that. One that I actually really love is this vanilla look. Uh, something about this, I just find it's easy on the eyes, but still has that kind of traditional red and green uh, with vanilla or kind of yellow in the uh, in the middle. I'm liking this one, uh, but I also, of course, like that classic red to green. And we've got some dark schemes in there as well. So if you wanted a dark uh, red to green, you've got that. If you want dark blackberry, this one is pretty fun. Uh, we've got a lot of those different color schemes, depending on what works for you. Now, finally, you've got a couple of different options uh, right up here at the top. If you don't want the symbols, if you just want the boxes, you just want to see those sectors, what's working, what's not, you can turn those symbols off. That'll also turn off the, uh, the values in each box. Now, when I hover over this chart, by default, I'm going to have this floating info box that shows me a little bit more about that symbol. If you want to turn any of that off, you can do that with the check boxes below that show symbols checkbox. So now when I hover over this chart, I don't get anything. If you just want the mini chart, this is actually the one that I'm really liking. Just that little floating mini chart. This will allow you to, uh, to zero in on maybe some of these smaller boxes. Here we're looking at Kinder Morgan, for instance, and we can get that little mini chart to kind of see how this is moving. So you can customize this a little bit for what works for you. And of course, we're gonna be adding additional options, more settings, more customizations that you can make to the market carpet. Now, down here at the little uh, little sort of light bulb icon here, it says that you can double click on any of these boxes to open up the symbol summary for that ticker. So for instance, if you like what you're seeing with Apple, you're, uh, you're seeing that big green box and that really nice looking mini chart, you can double click on that box to open up the symbol summary for that symbol. Very, very handy little feature. The other interactive feature that you have is that you can actually click on any of these sectors. So for instance, if you wanted to drill into healthcare, just click the healthcare name, and now you're looking at the same kind of market carpet just for that healthcare sector. We're gonna be bringing out many, many, many more groups for this, and you're gonna be able to pull in your own chart lists right to this market carpet. So lots more coming soon to this tool, but right now you can actually drill into these uh, these different sectors of the market and kind of get uh, you know a narrower view of just one sector at a time. When you're ready to get back, just look for that back button right up at the bottom. That'll take you back to uh, kind of the default view with everything all at once. 
So once again, this is a real tool right now. It is still a demo. It's still a preview. It's not intended to be uh, to be official. There are still probably you know a couple of little things that we're going to clean up with it. Maybe a couple of bugs that you're going to stumble into. But the data is real. The tool is frankly blowing me away. Uh, and so if you want to start using this one actually to uh, to see what's happening in the markets, kind of get a sense of how you're going to incorporate this in your own process. Our new market carpet demo uh, is here for you. You can go play around with this now. Of course, just like we showed with those other two tools, you've got that green banner at the top. We'd love to hear your feedback, love to know what you think, what you still need, what you want, what you like, what you don't like, all of that good stuff right up at the top. Share your feedback with us. We want to hear from you. We're still building these things. They are still works in progress. So we'd love to know what you think and uh, give us a chance to incorporate your feedback right into these tools. So that is going to do it for us on the show today. A bit of a longer episode. We've got a couple of technology previews to dig through there, but hopefully this has given you a sense of what we're working on, what we're building, what the next generation of some of these uh, key, you know, core beloved sharp charts tools are, uh, are going to look like, especially that sharp charts workbench, which is uh, still has a lot of features coming to it. As you saw, we still have a lot of those little, you know, coming soon kind of uh, banners and pop-ups and things. But that new Sharp Charts Workbench, I'm finding that especially the speed of it, some of those kinds of things, it is just absolutely a wonderful step forward. And it's only going to keep getting better. That's the key with all of these technology previews. It's just the beginning for us uh, with these kinds of features. These are kind of early sneak peeks for you, just so that you can get a sense of what we're building, what we're doing, where things are going. Uh, but even being sort of an early sneak peek, I'm having a lot of fun digging through these. I'm sure you will as well when you get your hands on them. Uh, so don't forget, you can go to stockcharts.com slash preview to actually access all of these different technology previews. And you can go review those release notes, stockcharts.com slash new. That's how you can get to the uh, the what's new page directly and, uh, and click into those release notes, see all the other tools and features that we've launched. Of course, if you do want to do, uh, to go back to last week's episode, we did a whole deep dive on all the new tools, the new features, the new enhancements that have just rolled out. So make sure you don't miss that. But between that episode and this one, digging into these technology previews, hopefully this has given you a sense of, uh, of what's going on around stock charts. There have been some huge developments, really one of our biggest product releases ever just rolled out. So we are thrilled with it. And most importantly, again, we're still working on these technology previews. They're the, you know, sneak peeks of features that are coming soon. So later this year, in just a couple of months, we're going to have even more for you. New trading tools, new indicators, new investing resources that are going to help you, again, make sense of the market, see what's happening, stay on top of your portfolio, find new opportunities out there, and make better investing decisions. That's our mission here at Stock Charts. Don't forget it. Our mission is to help you make the best investing decisions that you can. And that's why we love hearing your feedback. If you've got input that you want to share with us, you know, hey, I'd love to see this here because it's going to help me do this. We love hearing that kind of thing. That's why we put together that feedback page. We want to know about it because ultimately our passion is helping you make better investing decisions with these kinds of trading tools, charting resources, all of that good stuff. So Keep in touch. Let our team know what you think, what you want. Uh, we love that stuff and, uh, and absolutely welcome it. So go explore these technology previews. I'm so excited to, uh, to hear what you think. And don't forget, mark your calendar for next week. Our big summer sale is going to be launching. Huge, huge sale on stock charts. So if you're not a member, you're actually going to be able to sign up at probably our biggest discount. Uh, probably one of the biggest discounts we've ever done, 30% off, up to 30% off. Uh, so definitely mark your calendars. If you are not a Stock Chart subscriber, you're going to be able to sign up at a discounted price, seriously discounted price, and get access to all these amazing tools and resources. If you are a Stock Charts member, you'll be able to sign up, uh, renew your account, extend your account out into the future at a discounted rate. And you'll get to keep using all of these amazing tools and features that we are building. So we'll have more for you on that next week. More info coming soon. Uh, we'll have uh, emails and banners, things like that. Also on this show, we'll talk about it. Make sure that you know how to access that summer sale that's going to be running for just a limited time through the month of July. So again, I want to thank you for joining me on the show today. Remember, we do this every Friday, our product focus show up here on the Stock Charts TV channel, digging into the site and ultimately trying to help you get more value out of Stock Charts. My name is Grayson Rose, Vice President of Operations here at StockCharts.com. It's been great to be with you. I'll see you again soon for the next one. Hope you have a wonderful weekend. And remember, chart on, my friends.